I'm Dave Stewart, leader of the Isle of Wight Council. And I want to start this video by thanking everyone for their commitment towards managing coronavirus. This island has really pulled together our business community, our island community generally, our council staff, everyone has done their part to keep the island safe. Now we know the coronavirus hasn't gone away and we know it's going to be with us for some time, but we have a really robust outbreak management plan. We have a clear recovery plan for the island. So let's keep our community safe. Let's keep ourselves safe and let's work together to manage this virus as we go forward. The purpose of this video is to provide you, the event organisers on the Isle of Wight, with information about how to approach organising a COVID secure event, so that when you apply for licensing or temporary event notices, you've put forward all the information you need for your event to be suitably scrutinised and approved. My name's Kev Winchcombe, I'm part of my role with the Isle of Wight Council is to look at events on the Isle of Wight and I chair the Safety Advisory Group as well as managing the licensing section. We at the Isle of Wight Council understand the importance of events to us here, um, not only just to re-kick the economy on the Isle of Wight, um, but also for the health and well-being of, of our residents and visitors. However, although we will encourage events on the island, it is essential that we make sure whatever event we put on, whether it's small or large, is done in a very safe way in compliance with the national guidance in relation to COVID-19. We here at the Council are working together and put together an event guidance um, for you as event organisers to follow and ensure that we can work together to make sure your event is perfectly safe for all to attend and work at. The guidance is freely available on the licensing website. Some of the first things to consider. What we would expect you to do is really consider is what you're actually putting on for the public to enjoy. Is it compliant with the legislation in relation to the guidance of what is permitted and how many people are likely to attend your event? One of the biggest things we need to ensure is, is social distancing in this time and you need to understand that your event, the size of your venue, is sufficient to take the number of people you're expecting to attend and still maintain that social distancing that we're talking about and the national guidance. National guidance is changing and we need to make sure that you keep abreast of that as well. Rolling on from that, you then need to understand uh, all of the issues that, that come part of, of your event and you need to complete a COVID risk assessment to make sure you're compliant with that. Again, from the guidance that we provide you, there is a COVID guidance um, checklist that we'd uh, expect you to complete. And public health, along with environmental health, will review that documentation to make sure it's safe. In addition, we'd probably like you to, prov to provide us with an event management plan. Now, an event management plan gives us a brief overview of your event, tells us who's in charge and runs through all of the issues that makes your event what it is. That information along with the COVID risk assessment will be then submitted to us to the licensing section and I will then circulate that around the safety advisory group. A bit of history about the safety advisory group or a bit of information about the safety advisory group. The safety advisory group is a, is a group of agencies on the Isle of Wight um, made up of the triple nine services, emergency services, environmental health, um, public health, highways department, and whoever we feel needs to be brought in to consider your event. They will review your documentation and they will then respond to you directly with the information that they feel may be missing from your event plan, or just to give you some guidance of where perhaps you need to move forward. We are keen to make sure that you're compliant and it is essential that any information that comes back from those agencies you look to implement within your plan and amend accordingly. If we feel that your event is COVID safe, we'll just issue a, a, a short message to say, fine, carry on, you're good. However, if we feel that you're missing stuff and there is potential and imminent risk of, of, of transmission of, of COVID at your event, we will, we will um, take action to prevent that from happening, but still work with you to make sure, eventually with a view to making sure your event goes, goes ahead. As we move forward, um, 
we need to continue to review the, the national guidance which is coming out um, around COVID secure events. Um, and we may have to require you to change some of your plans and some of your information right up to the day that you open and also during your event. But however, we'll work with you to make sure that, that you're in, in a good place to make sure your event is safe. We fully understand that all this information is new to you. It is confusing. It does change on a daily day basis. And we're trying to understand it as quickly as, as you are. So we see it as a, a teamwork to get to where we are eventually. However, we do need to make sure that your event is COVID safe. And if it's not, we will need to work with you to make sure it is, or just simply advise you that perhaps what you plan to do isn't the right time to do it at the moment. So just a few things to think about in the future before you make your go ahead with your event. Firstly, is your venue big enough to hold the numbers that you need, not only to make it a spectacle, but also to make it financially viable? Secondly, do you have the right licenses in place? There are some activities that do not require a license, but in doubt, just contact the licensing team and we'll talk you through that process. Complete event management plan. There's a template on our guidance, just, just use it and follow that um, systematically till you get to the end. Complete the COVID checklist. That's very, very important to make sure your event is COVID. And above all, if in doubt, just give us a call, one of our officers, and we'll talk it through and make it as safe as we possibly can. We're here to help you and we'll make sure with collectively that we can perhaps get some quality events on the Isle of Wight where our residents, our visitors and everyone can enjoy and work out in a safe way. Thank you. You've heard from my colleague about how you can manage coronavirus and COVID in your business situation, in your business setting and the sort of things that you need to think about. But I think it's also important to remember that none of us are in this individually. We are in this together. Together, we can support ourselves, we can support our businesses, we can support our community, and we can support the island. And in its service delivery across the council, the council is here to support you, to provide you with advice and guidance. We are all in this together. It's hugely important that you engage and act now to ensure the planning and delivery of events are fully compliant. For more information, please go to the assets shown here or call us to discuss your specific needs.